All right, this is part three on how to draw a room using linear perspective. So we've already established the floor and you may have noticed that all my lines look a little bit better. I went back and adjusted all the width to be two pixels. So I think that's best. So to um, recap, I think the only lines that are necessarily need to be three are um, the lines for the ceiling and the walls. And then that other border I've already drawn for you to be a four. All right, we're going to do a door um, and some windows. So in this case, you always start with a line that's going to be vertical. Vertical lines of a door have to parallel the vertical lines of the back wall. Doors or most rooms and most homes are eight feet tall. They could be taller, but mine are eight feet tall. And that means the door is seven feet tall. So that would mean you have to make sure that your door is above the eye line where the vanishing point is. So I'm going to put my cursor up higher and then I'm gonna shift key. So keep the shift key pressed down, click your cursor and make sure you get right down into that floor line that we drew earlier, okay? That's very skinny. So I would go back and adjust it to two pixels. There's your vertical line. That's the side of the door that's closest to the viewer. And we would be standing way back here in the, toward the bottom of the room or the page. From the top of that vertical line, you just put your cursor, drag it right to the dot. Try to get the center of the dot if possible. Make it a two, click off. Now we need to figure out how fat or wide we want our door. So we add another vertical line so it parallels the right side of the door. Okay. Make sure your cursor is directly on the vanishing line. Click and drag using the shift key. And there you go. Now I'm going to zoom in and double check something. There's a tiny little gap in there. Maybe you don't see it. That might be a problem later. So let me double check. Yep. So if I was to dump pink paint on this wall, it will go under that crack into here and we wouldn't want that. So I'm just going to Make sure I bring the door down a little bit more. Okay, so now we're good. Zoom back out. There's a big door, and that's okay. So I'm gonna make that a two. Okay. Now I'm just gonna take the top of my door, click that line and drag back until it meets up to the original, the second vertical line I drew. And there you go. That's a very, very simple door. If you want a chance to get a B plus or above, you're going to have to attempt some thickness of doors or door frames, things like that, which I'll show in another tutorial. So I'm zoom out. Now we're going to draw a window. Windows are exactly the same as a door, except they're not going to go to the bottom of the page. Unless possibly if you're doing a bay window. So again, when in doubt, start with a vertical line. So I'm going to start with a vertical, and I'm just going to make sure it's slightly above my vanishing point. Make sure I'm selecting the, the shift key. Oops, go back to point, two points. Draw another line from the top. Make sure your cursor is directly on. Go to the dot. Click off, and then do the same thing on the bottom. Put your cursor on the bottom of the vertical. Or the dot. So now we have a vertical line that's going to be the left side of the window, and now we have to figure out how um, wide we want our window. So now we establish the parallel. Make sure your cursor is directly on the vanishing line. Shift key, drag down. Okay, and there it is. We can, um, here's a window here. It also could become a painting and so forth. Because I have my vanishing lines already um, figured out, I'm going to go ahead and add another window before I get rid of those. And this is slick. So right now I'm just going to um, draw a rectangle. And I'm going to line it up pretty darn close to the window that I just drew. Okay. I'm going to fill it white. 
And I'm going to go to the pencil tool, which is the color, and I'm going to say white. Oops, I have the wrong thing selected. Okay, try it again. Make sure that is selected. Fill it with white. Go to the stroke color, which is the rectangle outer edges, and go to white. And now, I, all I have to do is do a vertical line to finish up my original window. Oops, and I'm not using the shift key, so I'm going to go back and do it the correct way. Put the cursor on your vanishing line. Oops. We're almost done with this tutorial. Two points, two pixel sizes, and now I'll do the same thing. Now, I'm going to start being smarter. I'm going to copy and paste that line so I don't have to draw it so much. And I just have to adjust the size. Okay. And again, I'm going to copy and paste that line. Now I've got two windows. Oops. Pretty easy. I'll just adjust it. Now, to get rid of that extra vanishing line that I don't want, just click it and drag it back to your window. And there's two windows. But they also could become works of art, TVs, posters, so whatever room you're drawing, mirrors if you're doing a bathroom or something, and so forth. The, other, the next tutorial, I'll show you how to put depth in these things.